Welcome to All Play Games Weekly, where we bring you a weekly dose of tech news, games, and inspiration. I'm William D. Bacari. I'm Brian Carson. Batten down the hatches and tighten your wagon wheels, pioneers. Let's get into it. The PS5's design was leaked this week, and man, has it raised a few eyebrows. Various sources say that this V-shaped aqua single foot massager spaceship is not the final consumer design. It's simply a dev kit for developers. No matter the look, the PS5's rumored specs are no joking matter. The PlayStation 5 will support 8K video, not necessarily gaming at 8K, while using an AMD Ryzen chip on Zen 2 architecture. It will house a solid state drive, which will result in much faster loading times as shown off by PS4 architect Mark Cerny earlier this year, comparing Spider-Man's load times on both PS4 and PS5 respectively. Brian, what do you think of the design of the dev kit and are you excited for PlayStation 5? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I really hope that they keep this just in dev kit and they remodel their entire architecture <laughs> because it just, I don't think it would look great sitting on my table. Right. Like, I want it sitting there. It's got to be a pretty piece. You know, show it off a little right. bit. Look at my new PS5. This is gorgeous, right? right? Hardware needs to be sexy uh, sometimes, right? Yeah. yeah. I, don't I don't think they nailed it on this one. But I think that the hardware involved and what they can do with loading times is pretty incredible. I saw that Spider-Man video. And if they can really do that, then psh, more power to them. Mix up the design a little bit, though. Just, just a little bit. Change Thanks. it up. Change yeah. it up. So... Speaking of web-slinging action, SIE, Sony Interactive Entertainment, just recently acquired independent developer Insomniac Games in a deal that's been brewing for some time now. On top of Spider-Man, which is a PS4 exclusive and sold over 9 million copies to date, Insomniac Games are known for such IP as Spyro the Dragon, Ratchet and Clank, Resistance, and Sunset Overdrive. Insomniac currently was developing for Oculus in the VR world, but now that SIE has them... Does this mean more PlayStation VR content? Brian, what do you think? Is this a win for the gaming industry? I think so. I mean, why not? If they uh, can produce more PSVR content, I'm all, I'm all about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, VR is the future. It's where we're going. It's where our content is going. It's what I'm most excited about probably in this industry. And if they can, if they can pump out more amazing games for us, let's do it. What else are you excited for? Well, this week I wanted to get everybody caught up on what's going on with the Epic Game Store. So their current model favors developers since they only take a 12% revenue cut where other platforms like Steam take a 30% cut. So if you're a developer out there, more money in your pocket, right? So this has drawn, obviously, a lot of the developers to exclusively release through the Epic Games Store. A few of the exclusives that they have right now, they have 15 games, but currently some big time names are games like Dauntless, Hades, Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures, and Unreal Tournament. Check those out. I look forward to seeing other great titles that are going to be exclusives to the Epic Game Store. Games like Borderlands 3, Phoenix Point, and a game that I got to play in Alpha Spellbreak. Fantastic game. So, lastly, Epic Game Store is getting control of Magic the Gathering Arena. One of my favorite games of all time. Been playing it for 25 plus years. It's fantastic what they've done, taking it from tabletop to the digital version. Really is mind blowing. The animations are phenomenal. And just the game overall just is fluid. The deck building is great. It's easy to understand. And I'm sorry, Hearthstone, but <laughs> you got blown out the water, kid. <laughs> so moving on. Now for our gaming tip of the week. Here's PPLS League Madden player Thomas Clark with some insight. One thing I like to do is we have there's a practice mode where you just take your team, practice against your team. Um, I do random play versus random play, and I hit the first open thing I see to kind of like sharpen my mind. And then one thing I'm working on is when I'm at the line of scrimmage, I don't hike it right away. I force myself to sit there for 10 seconds and read what I think is going to happen. Thank you, Thomas, for helping our fans out there recognize the importance of self-practice and patience before snapping into play. As we wrap up this All Play Games Weekly, we have a quote from writer-actor Robert De Niro. The saddest thing in life, wasted talent. True. Thanks for tuning into All Play Games Weekly. Take care, be well, and we'll see you next week, Pioneers. See you guys.